This is Sarah with Chicago Music Exchange here today with Drug Church. Thanks, y'all, for coming in. Of course. Thank you. Hell yeah. Let's start out with something easy. Any uh, piece of gear or multiple pieces of gear that you feel are crucial to the Drug Church sound? Uh, yeah, I, th- I think a jazz chorus amp for me is, is needed to sound like us. Tight. Aside from that, I feel like everything's pretty standard. Yeah. Yeah. Word. Yeah. Any artists that have influenced you the most, and you guys can feel free to each answer this question if there's something that stands out for you, or any artists that like initially got you into sort of the punk hardcore scene? Um, I just try to write drum parts like the Pixies. That's so wild, because my friend the other day was like, drug chart sounds like if the Pixies had a punk or hardcore band. So that's delightful that's to get right. confirmation of that. Probably yeah. influence number one for us. That's yeah. rad. Uh, for my... I've, probably bored people with this before but uh the band that made the biggest impression on me was sick of it all because they were just they were happy (laughs) and -hmm. and i hadn't seen that up to that point like musicians that would smile and have a good time on stage i can totally see that too i feel like you tend to cover a lot of like pretty serious societal issues and topics in your (laughs) lyrics but you also deliver them in like I think you got it with a good vibe i I think listen if i was uh 21 I could probably stomp around and be frowny or whatever, but sure. I, I think it's kind of unbecoming mm-hmm. w- when you get a little bit older to not have any type of, y- y- you got to have, if not an irony, at least a self-awareness, you know sure. what I mean? Because uh, to just, I mean, metal bands can do it. Metal bands can go out there at 65 and be s- very self-serious. But I, I think that for anything that doesn't involve corpse paint, it's you you got you got to have a a tiny bit it doesn't got to be um distant or uh it, it, you shouldn't try to negate the the seriousness of the thing like you know that's not good like where where, where you try to uh be ironic to because you can't handle the topic that's right. not that's not good agreed but if you if you don't have a little bit of a little bit of fun spice in there it's like what are you doing tell me a little about your songwriting process do you work together on that is it kind of compartmentalized more compartmentalized than people understand because Mm -hmm. i this is not necessarily the band's preference but it's my preference that i don't hear the songs until they're done wild Uh, and that surprises some people they i but i think people really overestimate my musical ability which is zero so it's not like i can (laughs) it's not like i feel like i would contribute anything in studio except for like 
being very unhelpful by saying things like, "Oh, that one needs to be more nitro." Ooh, uh, you know, I mean, nitro. like like in things nitro. that don't things that don't help in any way. Like, "Oh, that one is too sad face." If you, like if, these don't mean anything, right? If he was there with us. It'd be it's too many cooks. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah. So you do that completely separately. Yeah, we have a, the- um, we yeah. Since we started the band, I mean, like as soon as we started the band, pretty much he moved to the West Coast, and we were all on the East Coast. So we would write the music, send it to him, and then eventually we would get a song back with vocals. Um, and then, and now we're kind of all over the place. Mm-hmm. He's in Australia. We have West Coast and East Coast. So we kind of just have ideas. We meet up work on them and then he listens to them figures it out from there mm-hmm. that's rad do you kind of have lyrics ready to go like plug and play with songs that they turn out or is it no more um, of a what comes first kind of no i i uh i only write in the studio wasting a label's time and, As mon- you should. and money right so I typically i will listen to a song before i go in the studio maybe i'll have an idea for a chorus uh but the process has always been the same. Go into the studio, listen to the song five times, write lyrics while I listen, try, fumble through a first sing through, have an engineer look at me like there's something wrong with me, uh, <laughs> fight our way through 30 takes and eventually arrive at something. But I, it, this is, I'm not advocating for this for everybody's band. I don't think this would work for most bands, but I only really get my best material if i feel like money is burning and we're never there for that process either i think this is part of what i like about you you're not there when we're writing the music and we're not there when you're doing the vocals that's true i think i think with us like we write we write the songs and it's just we try to make them as catchy as possible without vocals so you could listen to an instrumental and be like this is dope yeah so um yeah we carry him (laughs) <laughs> how do you do you agree this guy lives on my back what are we, ta- <laughs> what are we talking about Oh, yeah. 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 yeah.
else you want to shout out to folks who want to like learn more about you or where they can find you out on the internets? I feel like your name is unique enough that that's not hard to do, but anything uh, you kind of want to no, not, highlight not, here? Not hard to do at all. I have to deal with uh, customs agents every time I go into Australia that want to talk to me about drug church because uh, they look me up. So not, not hard to oh, find. Oh, really? Um, wish we were more hard to find, actually. Uh, I appreciate that. Because <laughs> it's inconvenient for my life that... Uh, I have the name Drug Church, which was really chosen because it was the worst band name we could think of. Is that really how it came to be? I'm curious. We, we had a list of my other band would we toured for a long time, and we would play any place that would have us, including kind of bar pub style venues where you the list of bands coming through mm-hmm. are terminally local. You know, like the 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 type of thing where Scum Hornet. Uh, you know drug church like just uh, just just really really bad so we Mm -hmm. would we would just sort of for fun spitball what we'd think the most local band name would sound like and drug church and when i put it out to these guys as a serious suggestion they were like oh that's really sick it's really sick (laughs) so we ended up with is a really sick name oh thank you do you get a lot of weird questions about it like people are like have you ever done drugs in a church and shit like that or is that not i mean old people say that yeah yeah i feel like we're gonna see some of that in the comments Old people that's border agents i mean yeah i'd rather have a name that when people ask it and we tell them they want to hear it again rather than be like oh okay yeah, I feel like a name like this is like pretty unforgettable. Whether you like get into the music or not, it's kind yeah. of like it's gonna stick with you. Something uh, else not to forget. Yeah. I'm a little, I'm a little anxious. We're playing a few countries uh, where drugs carry the death penalty, so so I just I don't want there to be any to the people of uh, of Indonesia. Um, we're not actually, we're not we don't carry drugs on us, you know. So just I feel the, like this is the, good to just like put out there in general (laughs) and let people know yeah Yeah. i'm just uh it's it has me slightly nervous it's like if you are the band like the band anthrax during you know shortly after 9 11 was like oh i guess we we should talk about this you know uh (laughs) isis yeah yeah or or the band isis which yours is even just more general yeah i i just don't want to get jammed up in a because i already get it going into australia and and uh i got it coming in out of jamaica once like i i just don't want like just a band name well, thank you guys again for coming in today. You're a yeah, delight you. to listen thank to you. and to talk to you. We appreciate you a ton. Uh, Thanks for having us. Thank you. Chicago, yeah. thank you very much.